Amir Goldman and I'm a chemist at Lawrence Livermore National Lab and this is my office. We decided to test one specific hypothesis. We were just curious to see what would happen if a comet were to hit a planetary surface, whether that impact itself could drive the formation of life-building materials. So we simulated an impact of an icy mixture that resembles a, a prototypical comet, and we looked at the in ensuing chemistry, and then we simulated what happens after the impact. So the material sort of comes into a planetary surface and hits at an angle, we'll say, and that creates very high pressure temperature conditions, and uh, we would call that a shock wave. So there would be a shock pressure wave propagating through the material, and that sudden pressure temperature uh, induction would uh, drive quite a bit of chemistry. Everything's zipping around right now, that's because the temperature has gotten to be very hot. What you see here are these light blue atoms bonded together. We see the beginnings of carbon-carbon bonds forming and carbon-nitrogen bonds forming. So again, these are the beginnings of the building blocks for life-building materials, like amino acids. We have a couple ring-like structures. Those are also really neat. They're called aromatic compounds in this case. Those could be the beginnings of DNA and RNA uh, nucleotides, for example. So this gives you an idea of the kinds of things we've looked at. We started with very simple materials, water, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, etc., and we generate things that are one step more complex through this shock synthesis. What our study helps confirm is this fairly new idea that the comet itself could have delivered both the raw materials and the energy to produce life on a planet, and it could have done this regardless of what planetary conditions were like.